absolutely it's like a horror movie and not made in the studio. Um, that's why we're so devastated with this news that it's finally reached our shores and uh, to, to see what, it hap what happens in USA and Australia, uh, those videos are quite devastating news and we experience it right here. We actually had experience with three guys that consumed this drug in the Pine Town area and it confirmed that it's flaca, it's confirmed that it's on our shores, it confirmed that we are in trouble if we don't deal with this effectively right now. In terms of its composition, do you know if there's any known substances that are, is actually in this? Well, we know it is amphetamine, the crystal meth, the uh, ecstasy-related um, substances that you manufacture in a lab. But we don't know the fine details yet, but we fortunately managed to get some samples and uh, we sent it for toxicology and awaiting those results. So maybe by next week you know exactly what is in that drug. But amphetamine type of drug like ecstasy yeah. and, and they sell it as cocaine as well. It looks like cocaine as well. You know, just looking at those, those, those videos and it seemingly, you know, it causes this mass hysteria. Um, people can't talk. And yes. I, I, I heard that it, it causes something yes. called superhuman strength. Just take us through some of the symptoms when, when one takes this drug. You know, you get this euphoria very quickly. It hit to your brain and you hallucinate. Uh, we had one guy, you know, we, we had the ambulance driver, or transports guy, explained exactly what he had uh, the experience with the guy that had this effect, uh, the zombie-like effect, the hallucination. The guy was talking to him nicely as normal conversation and suddenly he switched to something bizarre which didn't make any sense. And then he wanted to open the door and walk out of the moving vehicle. So they lose all senses. Uh, they, they're not uh, understanding exactly what is happening around them. They just switch from one scenario to the other. And you're talking about the superhuman strength. When this guy went to hospital and a doctor wanted to sedate him because of his, uh, the agitation and the um, extreme um, superhuman strength that he displayed, they needed to sedate him. They had to get five of the security guards to hold him down on the stretcher. And this guy fought them off, you know, uh, and it was really a tough battle to keep him uh, on the stretcher to finally sedate him. So like the videos shown, uh, you know, all over the place, gone viral now, those are real stories, you know, where you find these guys want to climb the walls and jump off buildings. They feel that they can do that. And some people actually, you know, if you watch the videos, can smash into a windscreen and bounce off it. And uh, nothing happens, you know. They do get this really amazing strength. Mm. That's what the drug does to their body. I mean, when you watch it, it's, it's devastating symptoms. Do people knowingly take this for that? Or are they, are they um, well, the guys mistakenly taking something else? Yes. That's what happened. That's what these guys claim. We're not sure about that, though. Um, they claim that it was in a fish bowl with some drinks diluted and uh, they drank the drink and only after they drank their drink they found their effects as not normal from just alcohol um, and they displayed the symptoms of flaca. Mm. And exactly like we saw in the videos, that's what they experienced. You know? uh, two guys actually went comatose, by the way, for 48 hours mm. They were totally out of it. And one guy was actually declared dead, but uh, they sprang up to life again, this guy. So after 24 hours, they finally came to, and then they, they could relate what happened. But it stayed in the system for five days. They finally are fine now as normal people after five days. Mm -hmm.
way! No! What happened? Somebody's shooting at me! Who? You're okay. You're okay. No! Cigarettes! You're okay. Please! You are okay, man. Don't worry. It's all good. Someone attack me. Sam, what's the price of these drugs on the streets? They're selling it uh, like cocaine prices, uh, which is about 150 rands plus, depending on the quality and quantity as well. So it's 150 rands plus minus. And obviously uh, so it's targeting people that go to clubs and uh, pubs and so on. You know, it's, it's a middle income group. Yeah. And obviously, just finally, uh, parents obviously need to be very vigilant. And what sort of symptoms can they pick up? What should they be looking out for? Dilated pupils, um, temperature, just sores, and uh, zombie-like behavior, you know, the arms flapping around, and even the face, you can, you can see, you know, what you, what you see in a horror movie, the zombie, exactly the same thing that yeah. you see on their faces, and agitation, uh, and, and then they got, start getting violent, and that's when you know um, it has hit them hard, and yeah. they are really... Uh, danger to themselves and yeah. everybody else around them. And so, they have to be very careful how they deal with them there at that stage. Okay, thank you very much indeed for your insight, Sam. Great having you on the program. That was Sam uh, Pillay. He is the director of the Anti-Drug Forum. Devastating symptoms if you watch those uh, videos online. Uh, so I guess people just need to be very, very vigilant about the uh, dangerous effects of this drug. It's everywhere. It's been described as the scariest drug in the world. More powerful than heroin or cocaine. This is a synthetic drug that can alter your state of mind, raising excited delirium, body temperature, and literally losing their mind. <laughs> They're all experiencing like superhuman kind of strengths. If it takes six policemen to hold them down, that's a problem. Psychotic breakdowns, hallucinations, aggressive, violent behavior, cannibalism and self-mutilation, indiscriminate violence, when Flocka takes over. We are living in the context of the end of the age. We are a nation under judgment. Welcome to stage one of the zombie apocalypse.